Hello viewers, I'm Maria from CodeUp and today we are going to talk about child themes in WordPress and how to create a child theme for any WordPress theme you're using. Before we dive in the technical side of things, let's take a moment to reflect on why you would need a child theme in the first place. For starters, if you have ever developed a WordPress site, you'd know that custom CSS, custom functions and custom styling always rule the day. To create the design and layout of your dreams, you just can't do without them. While WordPress allows you to access the code and directly edit anything you want, editing your theme code directly is a definite no-no. Unless you're ready to lose all that hard work of laboring over the code and styling of your site the next time the theme gets an update. And guys, you need those updates. Keeping your WordPress core, all themes and plugins updated is the first thing you want to do if you want to protect your site from hackers. And to update your theme in the future without any hesitation, you need to create a child theme to house all your customizations. Doing so keeps all your customizations intact the next time the parent theme gets an update. With that said, let's dip our toes in Codeland and create a child theme. It's actually quite simple and nothing to be intimidated from. So the first thing you need to do before creating a child theme is install the parent theme on your WordPress site. Whichever theme you want to create the child theme for, you need the parent installed on the same site as well. A child theme inherits all its functions and styles from the parent theme. So obviously you need the parent theme installed on the, on the site as well. Then the next bit is a little techy but very simple. Create a folder anywhere on your computer and give it a unique name. Make sure this name doesn't match with any other existing themes on the WordPress repository. If it matches any existing theme, WordPress will try to update your child theme when that matching theme gets an update. So you want to avoid that. Right click anywhere in the folder and create a new text document file. Rename it to style.css. Make sure you have a text editor like Notepad, Notepad Plus, Brackets, Atom or a similar editor to be able to do that. I am using the Atom editor here. It's open source and can be freely downloaded from its website. Next open the style.css file and paste this code as shown here. You can find this code in the description box below. Just copy and paste it. All the fields in this, code, in this code are editable and customizable, except for this field, template. Here you need to enter the name of the parent theme to indicate that it's a child theme for this parent. With that done, you can add any custom CSS below this code. Next, go to that folder again and create a new text document file and name it functions.php. Now open the file with your text editor and paste this code as shown. You'll find this code in the description box below. Now you can add any custom code and custom functions below the last line here. That's pretty much it. The last thing you want to do is create a screenshot.png file in the same folder. WordPress uses this file to display an image in the image box on the theme screen. If your folder doesn't have this image, it will show an empty space there. And so just to keep things neat, let's create a new image and name it screenshot.png. Open it with paint and create a simple image so you can easily spot your child theme on the themes page. That's it. The next step is to compress your folder and zip it so you can upload the theme to your WordPress site. Right click on the folder and choose send to compressed folder. Now go to your WordPress site and navigate to appearance, themes, add new, upload theme. Choose the compressed folder you created and click install. Now activate the theme and enjoy. You can now customize your theme to your heart's content and still update your parent theme in the future. No more fear and no more hesitation. 